Hello, humans. Master Dinner Flights here, bringing you the low quality content you deserve, and today I got a really bad version of Dinos that I really enjoy playing. Um, it's with the new Nephthys cards that are coming out in like a month. And uh, the reason I like it so much is because it gives you an additional toolbox that you really didn't have before with like the rank twos. But in addition, it also just lets you like put extra monsters on the board, which I felt like Dinos had kind of an issue with where uh, they usually didn't have enough bodies to fuel pill or uh, make extra fields. So I decided I'm just going to try something different um, with them. So I guess I'll get into it. Now the ratios on Dinos are pretty weird, but it's all because of the Nephthys cards, um, which will make sense. So... Three Baby Sarasaurus, um, all the Nephthys cards, um, that are not Rituals or Birds, um, they destroy a card in your hand to do an effect. Um, so, this will trigger this, and it will trigger this, but in addition, this will trigger if you use it as a Ritual, uh, material, because if you Ritual Summon, it is treated as tributing a card with a card effect, so it will allow you to tribute this... Um, and then when that's the case, you can go ahead and search a pill. But I also just like multiples of these because, uh, if you're going first, sometimes Tyranno isn't the best play because, um, usually I found the best play is usually Dolka, uh, Overtex with a Link Monster, and usually sometimes, a uh, Rank 2, which can some, which can be like Gachi or something, uh, which is really neat. Because that makes your spell negation 3100, and it makes your two solemn strike uh, negations at 27, which is just rough. So you're going to negate two monsters in one spell or trap with just like a one play, and that's like three, that's three disruptions, and that's really powerful. Um, so, yeah, three of this. Uh, you just want to, you actually want to draw it with the Nephthys cards. And then Ovi Raptor, the most important dino. Uh, two Tyranno, you don't want to go three, because that's overkill, A, which is weird. And not to mention, you can't really do anything with it if you draw it, um, outside of just summon it. So, it's not a starter, it's kind of like a combo, like, at the end of the combo, that's where you want to see it. Um, and two Petite Pterodon, A, because of the fact that you're still playing the Nephthys cards, but more importantly, with the release of this card, if you Miscellaneousaurus... All your targets suck, because you're usually, like, summoning tuners. And tuners aren't very good in this deck until you start getting to 3. But when, you, when you're when you summoning Jirac Dino, which is a level 3 tuner, it kind of takes a while to get there. And usually, if you're getting there, you're banishing Giant Rex for the second time, which is really bad. You don't want to do that. So, what I've noticed in a lot of these combos is I have enough to banish for 2... And summon Petite Pterodon. And then during the end phase, Miscellaneous will destroy it. But since it was destroyed, I can now summon uh, Prankatops from my deck. Uh, or Pankatops, or whatever it's pronounced. Um, and that is an additional disruption. Because now what you can do is you could end on a rank 2, a dinosaur rank 4 of the Evolzars. Um, and then a big dino, whether it be Quatlis or Tyranno. And then you end with this, which is another disruption, which uh, is actually really powerful. I would actually suggest, if you're going to play this in Dinos, you might as well play one of these for Miscellaneousaurus. Because, uh, like, going first is one of your biggest issues. Uh, because even though you can, like, end with some negates, none of it applies that much pressure. And, like, sometimes you don't, you get, like, one negate, and that's not enough. But with, like... One negate or two negates with, like, a Dryden kind of pop is very powerful. So, yeah, that's why I'm playing this with this. And Miscellaneous Source, I just explained it. Giant Rex uh, just feels a lot of your banishing cards. Very good. Then for the Nephthys cards, three of this. Destroy a card in your hand. Search a Nephthys monster, um, which is really good. It's the best. It's the best one. But the weird thing is... This I'll explain once I get through the rest of these. Um, one protector. It's the worst slash best one because if you draw um, a way to ritual summon with uh, 
anything not this in your hand, uh, you can just trigger a lot of effects, and it's really good. It kind of makes a link... Like, with this, it makes a link and a rank 2, which is really cool. Um, Enlightenment. Uh, this is kind of what you want to search with this, because this is Graveyard Recursion for next turn, if you would need to make, like, a Dagusto Phoenix or a Sky Cavalry. Um, one Sacred Phoenix. It's better than the Ritual, just because the fact that I don't need a Ritual Summon this. Like, I'll just search it with the link and then pop it with blue, which is Avatar of Nephthys. And Avatar is really important. It's actually the one you want to see before this one, which is why there's three pre-prep. Because, like, one of your best opening hand is, like, a baby overtax, uh, like, which can also sometimes be Fossil Dig. And then Avatar, because you can trigger Avatar, you can Ritual Summon Avatar by sending Quatlis. Quatlis will get a pill. You'll summon this from deck, and then pop the baby to get a search, which you still haven't normal summoned, and then summon an Ovi Raptor, which gets you another search. And you can just get really far ahead really quick with this card. That's why I like it. Um, it's pretty cool. And because we decided to go with Nephthys, we gotta cut it down to low hand traps. It's fine. It's a much more going first build than a going second. It's just with, like, the Prankatops and the Ash Blossoms, you don't just automatically lose going second. So, yeah, three of this. Uh, triple Evolution Pill... I feel like there are more targets than ever for this now, so I kind of want to max out on it. You can search it whenever, I understand, but, like, a late-game pill for one of these guys is strong. It is. Uh, and then three Fossil Dig for consistency, three Pre-Prep for consistency, two Rebirth. Uh, I don't know that you need to, but I want to resolve Prep as much as possible. Not to mention, the reason I say I don't know if you need to is because the Link recycles it when you search Bird. Which I guess is a thing. And then Foolish because I needed a 40th card. And I felt like Upstart doesn't really do much. And Foolish Burial is more proactive than that. Um, side deck doesn't matter. Uh, just go, going second cards. Um, and then the extra deck. One of this. When it's uh, during the... Like when it's Link Summoned while you control it. Can activate one or two one of two effects. The second effect I never activate... Because it's awful, but um, the first effect adds a bird from your deck to your hand and then searches and then grabs back a ritual spell. And then we got a nightmare package with Boral Load and Underclock. Pretty standard. Um, Exiton Knight, the Evolzars. This one's one of the best ones, especially if you have a uh, Overtex uh, in addition, because that just means. Two monster negates and one speller trap negate, which is very powerful. And then Silent Honor Arc. I couldn't think of another rank four I wanted to play. Um, and then I realized this is actually kind of okay. It's better against Castell. I, it's better than Castell because links don't go in defense. And then uh, it kind of protects itself from destruction that you would need to trigger off of it. So that's pretty cool. I, that's just something I thought of. I don't know how good it really is, but it's been neat. Um, Tornado Dragon, super, super good. Um, and then for the rank 2, Gachi, because I couldn't, th like, outside of Gachi and Pure Light, there are no other good uh, rank 2s. Like, the only reason this is good is because it kind of gets you something back for later, which is fine. And for, go and then for the offensive rank 2s, we got Phoenix and Sky Calvary. So yeah, that's about it. I got a replay for you though, and I'm gonna go ahead and show it off because uh, it's really, really neat. Um, so it's on fast forward. I drew the bird, which isn't that great of a thing, but it doesn't matter because I got Quatlis, uh, Fossil Dig, and Pre Prep. So this is gonna be cool. Uh, my opponent, I really think, just didn't know how to uh, play this deck because he's gonna make a bunch of misplays. Like he's su special summoning under duality. He tries to trigger Necro Face off uh, Duality as well, and yeah. But he, he starts to figure it out, um, and he summons Mon, uh, Maju. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-prep. We're going to Ritual, uh, I mean, we're going to Fossil Dig. Then we're going to Ritual Summon, tossing the Overtex, getting a pill, and then summoning a Nephthys from deck. Uh, destroy that, get a Search. Prank Tops hit a back row. Yeah, it's pretty much like that. We're just Link Summoning uh, a whole bunch. And now we're going to grab back Petite. 
um, with pure light. Then we're going to pill. Then we're going to get giant rex. And then, yeah, it's pretty much like this. I'm just going so far ahead of him. And now we got a Logia, which is Solemn Judgment. Um, we got a Tyrano, which is Book of Eclipse. And now we're going to end with Petite, which gives us a Pranker Tops. And now we have a Stormum. It doesn't matter that it was Waking the Dragons. It's just like... Uh, so I so my ending board uh, before uh, next turn is a Book of Eclipse, a Dryden't, and a Solemn Judgment. And that I, it just puts me so far ahead that it doesn't matter. Um... Like, it's, it's really cool that these Nephthys cards kind of, like, did what, do what kind of True Draco's stuff, I mean, True King stuff does, except, like, it needs a little less. Um, yeah, it's not ending with VFD, but instead you're fo focusing more on the dinosaurs, which is, I guess, alright. So, yeah, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and remember, Master Dinnerflex will take your soul.